Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. And I hope that you are enjoying the warmer weather that we're having these days. It's a great time to get outside and play in the yard. And when you do that, watch for signs of spring. Watch for the little crocuses or the daffodils that are maybe going to be coming up soon. Watch for the buds on the trees that are going to turn into leaves. And listen to the birds because they're excited uh, that it's springtime. And I think you can hear them singing a little bit more than usual. So I'm going to start with a little song on my cello. So I hope that you enjoy it. And then I've got a good story that I know that you will like. So first, let's have a little cello music. <laughs> short and sweet and I've got a sweet story for you it's about farm animals and one wild animal actually about a fox and the fox is um, out in a storm and he needs to find the shelter of this barn that he finds but the barnyard animals are afraid of the fox and so they don't want to share but then something happens. So I'll let you see what that is during the story. And, uh, and you'll see that things change and grow as, people, as, the, as the animals grow in their, in their understanding of what they can do. And it is called Together We Grow. So here's the fox running through the field. Lightning, gash, windy lash, and you can see him looking at the lightning and running. And there you probably saw the barn in the background. And so the fox is running and comes right up to the barn. Rain and thunder, home asunder because the fox's den, the hole in the ground, got flooded out by the water. Let's see what happens next. Careful glances. Taking chances, the fox is looking through a window from the outside. Wondering if that would be a good place to go and take shelter. And then you can see the view from the window looking down to the floor of the barn at all of the animals, the cow, the pig, the lamb, the sheep, the, whoa, and there's other, there's raccoon and turtle, the donkey, the goose, the turkey, the cat, the bird, the dog, the frog, and the duck. See if you, how many of these you can see when I show you the picture. Frightened faces strange new places, paws in need, and beaks to feed. I like the pig's eyes. 
Go away, we're full today, the animals yell to the fox as the fox is looking through the window. Ooh, there's even a bluebird in there. I saw a bluebird yesterday. Could you see the bluebird and the fox looking through the window from the outside? So the, the fox had to walk away and find its kits, which is the fox children, and let them know they couldn't go into the barn. Rain soaked, lonely, a hope, if only, and, and they look back once again and they see a little duck looking out the barn door. They're wondering if at least one of the animals is changing their mind about whether or not to let the fox stay. And they come out and meet in the rain. Well, that was a friendly gesture by the duck. Drying tears and calming fears. And here you see that the duck and the fox are just kind of talking and helping each other and starting to get to know each other. And then the other animals are looking out of the window at what is happening and they're feeling better, calming fears for them. They're thinking, maybe we acted too quickly. Maybe we were too harsh at the fox. So little by little, the animals come out of the barn, learn and show together we grow. So they're coming to an understanding that maybe they can live together. Flat or long, screech or song, slow or quick, lumpy and slick. They are learning that it's okay to have the fox inside after all, even while it's raining. The duck likes the water best of all. That makes sense. Brindle and gray, dapple or bay. And we see the horses and they're, uh, they're getting to know the fox too, the little fox kits. They're all making friends. Shell and scales, love prevails. And look at what's on the nose of the fox getting a ride and getting a close up look. It's a snail. 
but I don't think I'd want a snail on my nose. So that fox is braver than me. Large or small, short and tall. And here we see um, the tall ones, you can only see their legs. And the short ones you can see on the ground. All different sizes of animals, different kinds of coverings, whether they're feathers or fur or scales. There is room, they discovered. There is room. And you know what? There's some more coming from outside. I see some bunnies and a chipmunk. And in the shadows, it looks like uh, even a pheasant. And by now, the barn animals are not fearful and they know that there is room for more and they can welcome the other animals who need a little shelter from the rain. There is room and then you see more animals. I see a moose and a skunk. I see a, oh, it looks like maybe like a weasel possum with a lot of little possums. I see a deer and a great heron bird. I see a snake, maybe even some mice and a bird under the full moon. Take a look. And that was how they grew, how they understood. They knew and they learned that there is room for us all. And then the sun comes out the next morning and they come out of the barn and they're all sharing the pond and the field together. The end. Well, that was a great story. I enjoyed telling it. I hope you enjoyed hearing it and seeing the pictures. And I'd like to have some prayer with you before you go, boys and girls. But dear Lord, we thank you for this day and all the blessings that you give us. Uh, we thank you for the lessons that the animals learned in the barn and it's a lesson we can learn as well, that there is room for all. We can share what we have with others, and we do not need to be fearful. Uh, but when we can share and be generous and help one another, it just makes the world a better place, and we feel better as a result. And we know, Lord, that that pleases you also. And So, Lord, bless our boys and girls and all of our grown-ups, too. In the name of Jesus, we pray all of these things. Amen. Well, thank you so much again for being part of story time and have a wonderful week. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.